Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dermot again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really happy to have you back today because I'm going to be doing another video on Oculus Quest development. The video that we're going to be doing today is basically going to continue the examples that I did previously, the examples that I basically uploaded to GitHub. So on this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an OVR controller that is going to allow us to extend the player controller that we added before. So this time we're going to be able to walk around the scene, to run around the scene, but we're also going to have a controller in our hands. The reason why I want to do that today is because I want to extend this example and actually show you how to pick up items in the scene, how to interact with 3D objects in the scene. So this is basically going to be the beginning of those examples. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing in this video, which is to add a OVR controller to our scene. So I showed you before how we could add a VR movement, which basically has a VR player controller and it also has an OVR camera rig by default. So this is one of the prefabs that we added and dropped. If you didn't watch that video, make sure you watch that video before you watch this one. The other scene that we created also was a VR stationary. And, and that one was more of a, I'm basically staying on the, in the middle area and I'm basically looking around. So we don't have a player controller, so we're not moving around, but we're using the OVR camera rig to basically look around. So for instances where you need a controller that you're not going to be moving or you're simulating movement, then this will work better for that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be adding a controller so that we can manipulate items in the scene. In this video, I'm going to focus on just adding a controller and show you how easy that is with the Oculus SDK and the integration with Unity. So what I'm going to do is I still want the movement. I think it'll be cool if we move around and also have a controller. So I'm going to clone the VR movement scene and then we're just going to call it movement with controller. Awesome. So now that we have that created, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, build settings, and then I'm going to uncheck the VR stationary and I own, I'm going to add the new one that we just added. And let's go ahead and close out of this, make sure that that was created. And looks like I do. Okay, let's go to file, build settings, and then add open scene, which for some reason is not getting added. So I'm just going to add it manually. Okay, so that should get us basically building the same scene that we had before, which was the VR movement. So now if we go ahead and double click on that scene, oh, and I know why it wasn't working because we were on a, on a scene that was already added. So if you go to the VR movement with controller scene and we look at controllers and we expand the VR player controller, you're gonna see that we have an OVR camera rig. If I expand that, we also have a tracking space. If I expand that, we have a left hand anchor and also the right hand anchor. And each of them have a basically a placement anchor, which is basically an empty game object at 000. And the cool thing about all these is you wanna make sure that you keep the structure that Oculus gave you. The same thing with the right hand, the right controller anchor. So they already have a structure in a way that we just need to drag and drop the controller. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if we go into VR under the Oculus folder, we're gonna go into prefabs and they already have a couple of components that we have been using. I show you that we use the OVR player controller, which happens to be the one that we have added to this scene. I also show you how to add the OVR camera rig. So the other one that I can show you how to add is gonna be the OVR controller prefab. So if I were to add that just to the hierarchy, anywhere in the hierarchy, and then double click it, you can see that it already has multiple controllers. And you might say, well, Dilmer, this looks like the Oculus Go. The other one looks like the Oculus Rift controller. And that's actually what Oculus have done. They, they created a component that is going to work with the Rift, that is going to work with the Oculus Go, and is also going to work with the Oculus Quest. So the cool thing about this is you don't need to know the underlying, basically the logic. You don't need to write any code. If you wanted to basically customize this, of course, you could use the OVR controller helper that they added and see how it works and then basically do, so, do some customization with it. For now, I'm just going to keep it simple. We're just going to add that component. So I'm just going to remove it from here, and we're going to add it to the left controller anchor and also the right controller anchor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that prefab and drop it in place here. And I'm also going to do the same thing with the right hand. There's one slight change that we need to make. So if I'm looking at the left controller anchor, that means that it's going to be for our left hand. So that means that the controller that this needs to be mapped to needs to be the left track remote and that's what I'm going to be doing and then I'm also going to do the same thing on the OVR controller prefab here and then that's actually already set 
And just to show you and demonstrate that this is going to work, I can show you how the the scene that Oculus provide is set up. And that's basically what I was looking at before I, I gave you this video. So if we go to scenes and we look at controller models, you can see that they have something similar already in place. And if you go into the left hand anchor, also the left controller anchor, you can see that they already have this map to, they have a map to le left touch. And that's probably what we need what we need to map it to. And if this doesn't work, I'll show you what I need, what I change. And also they have it mapped to the right, basically the right touch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build what I have. Let me go ahead and let's go back and and actually make that change. So I'm gonna go and map it to how they have it, just to make sure that it matches. If it doesn't work, we can figure it out. And by all means, I'm not an expert in this subject. This is something that I'm learning and I'm showing you the learning process as I basically as I figure it out with you. So I'm gonna extend this and I'm gonna change this to L touch and I'm gonna go into this one and this one is gonna be the right touch. All right, and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into file and go to build settings. Let me make sure that this is set as 000, which it is. And also this one is set as zero, yep, it is. So I'm gonna go to file, build settings. I already connected my Oculus Quest, so you can see that I can see the Oculus Quest. So make sure that you have that connected via USB-C. If you have that connected, or if you haven't connected it, all you have to do is just connect it and then hit refresh. Then that will show the device. Then the next thing that I'll do is I'll just say build and run. And it's gonna tell me what, what do I wanna name this scene. And I'm gonna say VR movement is fine. I think I already have that, so I'm just gonna replace it. And this is going to go ahead and build to my device. I'm just gonna put my headset on and show you the results. All right guys, so now I have this running. Let me go ahead and resume it. And you can see the, so I can now see the control. If I press on a button on one, it basically toggles to the other. I think I have a few mapping problems. I can jump and I can definitely look around. But I think the issue that I have right now is that the, the control is really not responding to, so if I do a run, it's basically really slow. So what I need to do is basically find out what we need to change on the controller script that we created in the one that we're using from Oculus and see if that needs to be updated. But this basically shows you that you can have the model associated with your OVR camera rig and, and everything is working. Just the mappings of the bounds are the things that we're gonna have to fix. So I'll show you that on the next video. All right guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about the OVR controller or anything that I mentioned so far, please let me know through the comments. Also, you know, be sure to send me an email if you have any questions at info at ilmergames.com because I'm always monitoring that email and also answering any questions that you may have. Also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. I also want to recommend that you check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for developers, game developers. If you're a senior level, if you're in a kind of a newbie level, they have resources for you. So thank you very much, guys.